Hey guys, welcome back to another Hawkins Corner. So today on Hawkins Corner, I'm actually going to be unboxing another Love Me wig that I ordered. So the first thing is I ordered this wig during Black Friday. And for those of you who are not wig connoisseurs, the best time to buy wigs for the deepest discounts are during the Black Friday sales and like in the spring around tax time. So they had a Black Friday deal where you could get $120 off of any wig that was over $300. And then the, the discount went down, but it was still a deep discount. So if you want to know more about the company, head on over to that other video, which is probably here or here, and I'll give you more information about the company. And the shipping was a little bit delayed this time, but when I say delayed, it's still it, it still does not compare to other companies as far as other companies taking longer than them. It may have took about um, maybe a week, maybe like five days, and I, because I think I ordered it on a Monday and it came, I don't know, it, I, I want to say it came like within five days. So the shipping was a little bit different. Um, I only paid $269 for this wig because I did have points, so you do collect points if you um, sign up for them, and I also use the discount. Let's get into the, the wig and the unboxing. So it comes through DH, uh, DHL, yeah. And the thing I like about DHL is that you can actually go in and you can uh, delete the signature requirement and you can still get your package uh, at your porch. Thank God I live in a neighborhood, thank you Jesus, where I don't have to worry about my packages being stolen. The expectation for this unboxing is pretty much like the other one, but we'll see if we got anything new. So they have their beautiful purple box with the little bow. And let's see what we have inside. So inside we still have like a $5 gift card. It comes with the wig and like, an, I forgot what this material is, but the wig comes in this. You do get a wig kit. So I think if you spend a certain amount of money, they'll always send you the wig kit. And then you also get this little pamphlet. You also get these wig caps. And then you have your little, it looks like a pencil case with all of your, your wig kit necessities, which are the same as the other video. So I'm gonna go through this one super quick. So you get the bobby pins. You also get extra elastic. So I'm assuming that if you wanna make your own elastic band, you get tweezers. You can never have enough tweezers. So they give you tweezers. You also get their little decorative clip that says, love me. I don't really wear these, but I mean, if you're into these, then if you buy a lot of them, you'll have a lot of those. And then you also get this little, like satin sash. I don't really like these either because I find that these slip off my head, but I'm an atypical person. So when I go to sleep at night with this on, that thing be way in another room by the time I wake up. So maybe that's the case for me. And then you get their edge brush and their comb. And I really like this, uh, their edge brush and their comb versus the one that I got from the beauty supply. So this is their um, wig kit. And I think their wig kit uh, is an estimated value of like $20. All right, so let's get into the actual product, the wig product. So if you wanna know the specifications of this wig, like exactly, make sure you check out the information below and leave your comments below. So this time I wanted a wig. Last time I got the curly afro wig. This time I wanted something with a looser curl and I wanted it to be longer. The only thing that I don't like about afro curly textured wigs is that like eventually, well, the shrinkage. So it's just like African American hair and it mimics that same shrinkage. So in that wig, I got an 18 inch, but it probably stops right here versus a looser curl. So they have another wig that's called the water wave wig. And as you can see here, it is a much looser curl. So you get all of the, well, I wouldn't say all, but you get the majority of your inches and you don't have to worry about that shrinkage. So it comes in this little hairnet and then here is the, the water wave. Now it look a little weird now, but for anybody that knows about water wave hair, um, you know that when you start brushing this out, it becomes like this beautiful curl pattern. Um, I would say like a 3B, so that's a good thing. The, the uh, cap is typical. It has two combs at the top. Well, three, I don't know who uses these combs, Jesus, but it has three, one, two on the sides, one in the middle, and then it also has 
the adjustable, well, this one is not adjustable. Hello, love me hair. Um, I don't like the adjustable, um, what do you call it? I don't like the adjustable elastic band because as you can see, I have a pea body head, a really small head. So even if I hook the little strap that looks like a bra to the last one, it still is not tight enough for my head. So I'm hoping because I got this, I think I got it in a small that this suffices, but if it doesn't, it's okay. So this is attached to the actual wig. So it's the elastic band method if you want to use that. And I didn't notice this before, but their logo, if you can see that, is on the bottom of the wig cap. And then the last thing you have are the adjustable straps in the back um, that you can use to tighten the wig. Now the next thing is that this is supposed to be HD lace which means that you're supposed to put this on and it's supposed to be nearly undet undetectable. So here's the, the HD lace. So I think that the lace looks pretty good, but I really won't know until I put it on my head. But th that pretty much is the HD lace and the parting space is really good. The knots, are supposed to be bleached. I don't know if my camera's gonna catch that. So if you can't really see the knots on camera, then you're really not gonna see them in person. Would I bleach it? Probably not because the knots are very small. So I think they did pre-bleach it and I, it doesn't have any kind of foul smell or that fish smell from Amazon wigs or anything like that. So let's try it on with the lace and let's see how that HD lace looks on. All right, so this is the lace actually on my head. Let me get in closer. Make sure my camera is focused. So this is the lace on my head, and I'm gonna say that it doesn't look that bad. As you can see here, um, it is pretty dense in the, let me get let me get a little close up here to y'all. Um, it is pretty dense in the hairline, so would I pluck it? Probably so. And it uh, in some areas, it seems a little dense with the parting space. But that's nothing that's going to be an issue as far as the install. So you can see that. Other than that, the hair is really soft. Um, like I said before, you do have to style this and comb it out. You can put water on it. So when I do my install, I'll actually, act, actually style it so that you can see the style of it. As far as the length, it's supposed to be, I think, a 24 length. So do you get your 24 inches? Absolutely. So it goes almost, let me see if I can back it up, back this thing up. So it goes, as you can see, almost to my, it goes down to my hip bone, wow. So that definitely is the length, the back of it. Here's the back of it, if you can see that. I hope you can see it, because I can't see you. Can you see me, because I can't see you. That's one of the best things I love about Love Me Hair is that they give you the true length of the hair and they give you the true length of the parting space also, like for the most part. So, and I think it's a 13 by four lace also, but you can look at all the information in the comments area. So stay, I don't know why I'm doing it. So stay tuned for the actual install of this wig and let me know what you think. Also, if you have any other really good hair companies, that sell wigs at affordable prices, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Hawkins Corner.